Welcome to a trigonometry revision video on exact ratios. Draw the two exact value triangles. Here's one. You need to know how to draw this one and you need to know how to draw this one. So we've got 45s here. We've got one and one because 45 degrees ends up uh, creating a an isosceles triangle there where that side equals that side. And root 2 is just Pythagoras on 1 and 1, but really there's nothing uh, able to replace knowing these really, really well. If you can write these out really quickly, just memorize them at some stage, put them on the side of your wall where you sleep or whatever, or near your desk or anywhere you like, as long as uh, have, have them on a card in your pocket until you totally know these, because you can't really expect to get marks in exact value questions without knowing these perfectly. All right, exact values for the following ratios. Uh, I'd be writing this out for myself and then just piecing this together. Sine 30, okay, so we're looking at uh, from the 30 here, sine is um, opposite over hypotenuse, so I think we'd piece together that's 1 over 2. Uh, sine 45, we go to the 45 triangle, is opposite over hypotenuse, I think is 1 on root 2. And uh, you can, if you know your sine, cos, and tan, opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent, that sort of thing, you can piece it together and read these off from the triangles. If you get your triangles right, that is sine 60, opposite over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So I won't bore you with the rest of these, but uh, you need to know them. Some of them you can kind of find out on your calculator if you don't know the triangle but you're you know you're only going to get like a third or a quarter of the questions right and you don't want that so go to the trouble of memorizing the triangles and then you can read all these off I wouldn't if I were you try and remember the nine uh, exact values up here it's much easier to remember the triangles and then remember your Sokotoa arrangements and read them off okay uh, if you want to you can um, you can memorize this whole section, but I think it's uh, not worth your time. If you know your sine, cos, and tan, and you know those triangles perfectly, you can discover those without without much more thinking. Find the exact value of tan 60 plus cos 30. So we're using a couple of different exact values here and doing that one at a time. From our triangles, tan 60. From 60 here, tan is opposite over adjacent so I think we're going root 3 over 1 yes cos 30 go to the 30 here and we're doing uh, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse so we've got root 3 on 2 I believe yep and now yeah, we're adding fractions here so we've got to change them so they've got the same bottom so this one would change into 2 root 3 over 2 and then yeah, okay, I'm doing that. 2 root 3 over 2 plus 1 root 3 over 2 makes 3 root 3 over 2. Got ahead of myself there. So uh, the reason why we turned this into this, so it was so that it had the same bottom, so we could add across the top and keep the bottoms the same. So what we did was uh, multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2 to create a situation with the same denominators. Exact value of this now, sine, cos, or tan. Uh, we have an we have a cos situation because we have an adjacent and a hypotenuse. If we wrote that out, cos 60 equals x over 24. Now, because uh, it's hints about the exact value, and we're using 60 here, so we can do some extra work here. Um, let's have a look. From our triangle, our exact value triangle, what's cos 60? Cos 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos 60 is a half. So we can replace this cos 60 with a half because that's what it's equal to. So cos 60 is a half as an absolute value. So we'll end up with, if that's a half there, we end up with x over 24 equaling a half. I've just turned it around the other way there. To get x on its own now, we'll multiply both sides by 24 and we can find the absolute value of the, the final value of x there just using an exact value without a calculator really. Pretty cool. So that's an interesting question. That one allows us to go further um, than we would have normally. 
Okay, a few exact values. They're interesting, those. And uh, But really, I've said it five times already, but I'll say it one more time. Know the triangles, please, uh, because then you'll have a chance at getting full marks in that section. Thanks for listening.